Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to talk about the Mendix Advanced Developer Certification Exam. So these are the topics you'll be tested on and these are the recommended learning paths which you have to complete in order to prepare for the exam. Now let's take a look at the details of the exam. So this exam is also consisting of 50 multiple choice questions based on both theory and practical scenarios. You have two hours to complete the exam and the passing rate is 75% which means you have to get at least 38 out of 50 questions right and similar to the intermediate exam this exam is no longer bound to a specific date and you can take it at the ease of your home so once you register for the exam by clicking on the get certified button you will get a test link which is valid for one month and you can start that exam within that one month and once you start the exam you have two hours to complete it and here as it's mentioned the test link is valid only for one month and after one month the test link is no longer valid and the exam is non-refundable and the prerequisite for the advanced exam is that you need to already have the intermediate certificate so if you haven't checked the intermediate certification exam guide click on the link in the description box below or on the top right corner i card and the best way to prepare for this exam is by completing the advanced developer learning paths which are mentioned here on the left or you have to complete the advanced developer classroom course which is a paid course but according to me if you complete the advanced developer learning paths you should be more than well equipped to pass the exam and it is expected that you have already worked on those uh, topics given here for at least six to nine months but i won't consider this as a strict prerequisite it varies according to the person and his exposure to mendix and similar to the intermediate exam you need to have a working webcam you need to allow access to your screen and you need to add a chrome extension the metal test extension and interestingly the advanced exam is open book so you can access mendix docs you can access the learning paths you can access mendix studio projects you can access mendix studio pro if you have any projects that you want to refer and you can also use translate to convert english into your preferred language and this is the official guide for the exam so let's quickly take a look at this official guide so let's take a look at the mendix advanced developer official exam guide so this exam guide is updated from february 22 to present which is october 2023 so make sure you get the official and updated site from the mendix.com website and this is the index so let's quickly go through the important points you have to note before taking the advanced exam so these are the nine learning paths which you have to complete in order to prepare for the exam and it is recommended to have six to nine months of experience on these below topics but i would say this is not a strict guideline it depends upon your exposure to mendix i would recommend you to complete these learning paths and have hands-on experience on these exercises so that you have a good understanding of the concepts the passing rate is 75 percent it has 50 multiple choice questions and the total time you have is 2 hours that is 120 minutes and the exam is divided into 5 sections so it's about domain model, xpath, microflow, security and ux and login and there is no minimum score in each section but overall you have to get 75% of the 50 questions which is 38 by 50 to pass the exam so after registering you will get an email from Mendix Academy with the test link you have to make sure that you have to take this exam because that link is valid only for one month so once you click on start test button your exam will start after a few messages and you have two hours to complete the exam so this is about how you have to start and during the exam the do's and don'ts and this is an important screen this will show you which section you are on it has five sections and each section has varying number of questions you can revisit the questions which you have marked as revisit you can check the questions answered click this button to move to the next question you can click on an image to make it larger you can click on this button to revisit the question and later revisit those questions from this section and the mendix advanced exam right now is open book so you can access mendix docs so mendix docs is the official documentation on mendix website the learning paths on mendix academy and you can access Mendix Studio Pro, uh, include any project you have so that you can refer while taking the exam and you can also use browser based translation service like Google Translate 
if you want to translate the exam question into your specific language. You are not allowed to use search engines to search for any answers. You are not allowed to view personalized notes. So your screen will be sharing all the time and once you open or do any such things, the AI proctor will uh, mark your exam and later when Mendix will review your recording, you, they will fail you for using these uh, unofficial sources. So even though you might have passed the exam by satisfying the 75% grading, but if you used anything other from these four sources, you will fail the exam. And these are the rules you have to follow while taking exam. So make sure you read these before taking the exam and getting the results. Your exam results will be emailed to you in several business days but generally Mendix takes one, one to two days to process your exam and email you the results and your certificate. And these are additional FAQs which you can uh, refer if you have any specific questions. If you have anything which is not addressed in this section you can email academy at mendix.com with your specific question. Now let's talk about the learning paths. So there are nine learning paths which you should complete in order to prepare for the exam. So this is related to advanced domain model skills. So it consists of eight modules and make sure you complete all of them. Each of these modules will be having the solved solution at the end. So make sure you compare your solutions with this MPK file given. Then this learning path is related to working with data. So this is related to uh, data in pages, microflows and XPath. This learning path is related to advanced security. So make sure you complete this learning path and get a good grip on advanced security concepts. Uh, this is related to constraining your data using advanced XPath. So make sure you complete all these exercises. This one is related to REST API. So make sure you complete all the modules inside this section so that you get a good grip on how to handle REST calls. This learning path is related to logging and logging is a very important section for the exam. So make sure you complete uh, logging and have good theory experience on how logging works. This is related to modeling microflows. So how to use microflow expressions, how to work with lists, sub microflows and how to debug a microflow. And this is a very important learning path related to error handling. So you have to uh, know how to identify the error, how to handle the error and how to fix that error. And finally, this is a learning path related to UX, which is page design and user experience. This is slightly out of date, but make sure you complete this. At least you have a theory knowledge. And as you might have observed, these are related to previous versions of Mendix, mostly Mendix 8 and 9. And soon these learning paths will be upgraded to Mendix 10. So make sure that you complete all these learning paths with their current Mendix version. So once you open a learning path, you will get to know which version of Mendix this learning path is solved or built with. So every learning path has a different version. So make sure you have the right version installed for every learning path. Now the cost of the exam is $150 plus tax. But as I've already mentioned in my previous video, you can avail a free voucher code which will give you one free attempt for the advanced developer exam. So let me give you a quick overview. So go to this URL partners-course-registration.mendixcloud.com If you are here for the first time, you need to sign up here, fill in these details and create your account and then using those credentials, log in into this. So let me quickly log in and show you how to avail a free voucher code. So I have logged in into Mendix Partner Course Registration. So this is the home page. So this is where Mendix offers official uh, training courses as you want to have a free voucher code for advanced exam so you need to click on intermediate to advanced and select one of the courses available each course has a specific date and time make sure you pick the right one because attending these exams will place an important role if you qualify and each training session has limited number of slots so make sure you keep checking this site so that you can register for at least one of those sessions so to register click on view details so here each training consists of four sessions and out of four you need to attend at least three to get 75 percent participation which will give you a free voucher code after you finish attending all those courses and if you satisfy this condition the trainer for this course will email you the voucher code after completing the training so click on register for event and then go back to home and you can see your registered courses here 
so once you register in a few days your instructor for that course will email you the zoom link or the teams link where you have to attend those sessions on those specific days that's it guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video